infection. Um, what specific new initiatives do you think are needed to step up the effort on prevention, Corey? Well, it's a deeply personal question uh, in many ways. I, I am HIV positive. I've been HIV positive for uh, nine years. And, you know, it's an issue that is not talked about enough. And it's an issue that deserves a conversation in our city. Uh, because, as you mentioned, transmission rates are through the roof. And they are through the roof uh, in many communities across the city, but as you said, here in Chelsea and in Hell's Kitchen, they are much higher than in other places. So what do we need to do? <clears throat> Excuse me. First of all, I believe we have to destigmatize talking about HIV. And we have to allow people who are HIV positive to feel okay saying they're HIV positive because I think until we destigmatize being HIV positive, we're not gonna have an honest conversation about what needs to be done with regard to prevention efforts. Number two is there has been too much reliance upon uh, trying to treat people, and this needs to happen after they have already seroconverted and who have HIV or AIDS, but the money needs to be invested from the federal, city, and state governments on real prevention efforts. And part of that means a comprehensive sexual education program in New York City schools. Talking about it openly and honestly with young people, letting them know what the consequences are about uh, getting HIV and other sexually transmitted diseases. And so I think one is, let's talk about it openly, which I'm glad we're doing tonight. Number two is, let's have a comprehensive sex ed program in New York City schools with condom distribution. And number three is, let's invest in prevention efforts and not spend uh, all of the money that's given to us. We have to take care of people with HIV and AIDS, but let's also put a significant amount of funds into uh, preventing people from actually seroconverting. Those are the things that I would do, and I fully support the 30% rent cap that's been discussed in Albany, uh, and I would go to Albany and testify on behalf of that and fight for that. Yep. Uh, I, I have gone to Albany and uh, uh, lobbied for the 30% rent cap. I have also um, been very involved uh, fighting for HASA for All, which was a bill um, that would allow uh, more folks, before they actually develop more serious um, aspects of HIV and AIDS, to be able to get housing uh, in New York City. And as a city council member, I would work to reintroduce uh, that bill. Um, also, I think that as a civil rights attorney, I've been able to advocate for people who are living with HIV and AIDS and too often are mistreated and, in fact, discriminated in the workplace. So I've had clients who I've represented uh, who are HIV uh, positive, who were actually mistreated in the workplace and actually wrongfully terminated. And our firm was able to represent them uh, to recover lost wages. Um, so I'll continue to be an advocate to make sure that people are treated fairly. Um, and I also think that we have to have a commitment to putting this as a priority for funding. And too often during this administration, we see cuts uh, to funding services for HIV and AIDS. And we have to think about this in a long-term, bigger picture. In my mind, um, showing compassion, showing responsibility, and advocating for everybody within our community actually is not only the right thing to do, but it also saves money over the long term if you think about the collateral costs to avoiding dealing with issues uh, related to people's health. And finally, I don't need to remind you that St. Vincent's Hospital was the ground where, you know, nurses and doctors were treating HIV and AIDS at St. Vincent's before anywhere else, when, when other hospitals were turning people away and unafraid, uh, afraid to treat them. And, um, we lost so much with the closing of St. Vincent's Hospital, an intricate network, a web of medical knowledge that we lost, and we need to really commit to restoring hospital services so that we can begin to rebuild uh, that network of knowledge for this community, as Paul said, which is so, uh, um, um, there are so many folks living with HIV and AIDS in Chelsea, the West Village, and House Kitchen.